so I was about to film a nice Taycan but that Taycan Turbo S managed to leave so question is if this Pantaga is it a W12 or is it a V8 I assume it should have oval exhaust if it should be a W12 and this Saab 99 GL amazing shape for that edge no rust at all which is pretty funny so I should film the Taycan in 8k but turn out to film a uh, and tiger with dirt on it. Bird dirt. It's amazing we see this Saab without rust. At the indicator, the lamps have faded. You could say that about the Bentayga as well, but that's it's not faded indicator lights, just white Saab 95 without any rust I mean if I would choose I would choose the Tiger W12 instead of either a hybrid or a V8 Let's see the headlights are so nice Quite sporty this with carbon front splitter as well. So time has frozen for this guy. He even has the it's like what's the mileage? Can I see it? It's not worried at all. It's incredible. You never see. That old car in that shape anymore like that. Nice roof spoiler on the Bentayga. Oh yeah, and, and it's uh, say work from home, home quarantine now as well. Notice how much larger the Bentayga is compared to the Lexus. It's like double the size. So hopefully you see. The sharpness. Down there was the Taycan that I managed to miss. No ceramic brakes. It's not the W12. Maybe that's why. Right. So. That's a little car update in 8K. Can I forget that I have a 8K enabled camera all the time with me. No more fun cars here. Nice shape, S class. Should be 600 or 65. So they're cleaning up grass. So that's all for now. I hope 
so we've got to get well. This is my wish. This i3 is pretty funny, he has like the M logo in i3. That's like a crime. Anyway, bye.